What's up guys, back in the shop here. Brought one of my kite fishing setups here. This is just a 20 pound rod with a Daiwa on it. I just wanna put this in some rod holders, get a feel for the angles. We're pretty much wrapping up our rod holders now. As I said in a previous episode, we had about 18 rod holders to work with. I did see that Gemlux has more on the website right now, so I gotta jump on there and grab some of those, but I really need the zero degrees to put into the center console. That way when we come on the boat, we can just jam those in there and they're out of the way. So uh, right now, Davin is finishing up the plumbing. The transducer is now in there. The drains, the inflow, the outflows, all that stuff is pretty much done. Um, the Simrad is getting wired up as well. We're gonna install a bow cleat. Wrapping up this build here, about to happen. Let's do it. Just look how beautiful that yellowfin is there behind me. Gray and black, got three mercuries on it. It's all about the rod holders. Check these out. In a previous episode, I told you guys that we secured 18 of these rod holders from Gemlux. These are the bolt-ins, uh, stainless, just nice looking rod holder, no logo on it, clean, fits in our gunnel just about right. And uh, we're just laying them out for the drift, for kite fishing, for trolling. We kind of covered all scenarios. When I first got here, I was kind of undecided on what we were gonna do with certain areas, but I brought in Eddie Herbert in our previous episode where he came over here and he helped me lay out um, just where we wanted based on his fishing experience. And that guy has years of experience watching kite baits dangle over there in front of sailfish and marlin, mahi, tuna, all that stuff. So I wanted his expertise because he has a 25 foot boat and maximizing you know, using the space that you're given here is pretty important when you have a small boat like this. I do one, two, three. All 15. All 15? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to introduce you real quick. You don't mind. Sure. I, really I like that idea of the 15s, man. That gets you, get your you get, that also. way, if you're putting a drift rod, yeah. and you've got it, it's Keeps it a little, little bit away. You don't want a, a rod sitting there drifting straight. Right. It's a shade. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could put 30s, but I think 30s might be a little lot. We could put a 30 here, which is going to be nice. You, yeah. Yeah. And put one for troll. Do you do much trolling? Eh, a little bit, but I mean, at least for somebody one, that does. One straight and one just to give it a little angle on it. Exactly. I'm going to show you, you're not going to have outriggers because you're not going to have a tee top yet. No, and I don't use them anyways. They always get in the way. On a small boat like this. I told you guys in a previous episode that I was going to give away that Juju Tackle hoodie, the one and done. So I want to go ahead and award the winner. So we went ahead and we picked. Nicholas Deason. Nicholas Deason told us, love it, but 
I love redundancy, man, but that console is probably big enough for a nine inch under it. Um, congrats, man, please hurry up, haha. -ha. So, Nicholas, just shoot me an email, mike at ruralports.com. Um, let me know your size as well as your address and I'll get you out that, that Juju Tackle one and done hoodie. I love that hoodie. The, it's just the softest material I could find. It's a great hoodie, especially for how cold it's been here when we get these little cold fronts coming. So, you know, the goal is always one and done when you're out there. So that shirt's gonna let people know that you mean business here for real. So right now, we are laying out pretty much the back of the boat here. We got the gunnels here. We got one pointing straight back. We got one at a 45, right? Yep. And then we got two coming straight out. So my main focus is gonna be on the drift, especially with the kite. Um, we are doing a little bit of trolling, you know, trolling live ballyhoo, pilchards, threadfin herring, all that stuff. So we kind of came up with the game plan, Cody and I here, to get the maximum efficiency of rod holders in here using the 18 that we got because Gem Lux is pretty much 100% sold out. I couldn't find any more anywhere else. So we got this side laid out pretty much now. He's going to go ahead and copy to the other side. And that's going to be our layout for just everything we want to do. So let's check it out. That looks awesome, man. A lot of engineering. Somebody asked me to come up with like a blueprint for all the stuff we did on this boat mm -hmm. so that they could just order one exactly the same because they're like, Mike, you know, I don't know how you have the patience researching every little thing coming up with, you know, from that transducer we picked to the rod holders to the angles to the motor to the, you know, well, every little bit you know, thumbs together in a big picture. And especially when you boil it down, it takes a, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort. Oh yeah. But you know, the end product, final product is unbelievable. You must definitely have done your homework and you know yep. what's the best product out there and what we're doing. What's really great about Preferred Marine, guys, I did not even need to be here for any of this. I could have just dropped off the boat and said, hey guys, rig it how you fish. Because these guys tournament fish, they do a lot, a lot of live bait fishing. The boat right here next to me is kind of rigged out just for that. 100% um, trust in their process, their quality of work. So they've actually rigged a latitude before me, Eric Reed's boat, if you guys remember that ice blue boat that had the Mercury 300 V8 on it. That's what kind of got me fired up about the Mercury V8. And when I saw the way they rigged it, the way they went in through the platform, I just knew that these guys were my guys. And they have a lot of latitudes coming to the shop now because not just from me, I think, but um, a lot of people know about Preferred Marine here in Pompano Beach and a lot of guys on the East Coast are building latitudes. Uh, my friend Julio just came out of the mold here. You can see his ice blue boat coming out of the mold and he's gonna um, schedule an appointment with these guys and be in the shop here pretty soon to pretty much rig the entire thing from the wiring to the motor, to the rod holders, to the everything. So that's the rod holder. These are Gemlux 15 degrees. We have pretty much all 15 degrees going in right now. Um, we're gonna need some zeros to finish up the job, but for now, 15s are all we need. Ready to drill? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's check, that, check this out.